In the following four pictures are shown two wires in which an equal current is flowing and we're asked to evaluate the magnetic field at a certain location P somewhere near the two wires. And we're asked to rank which of these cases has the largest magnetic field at that point P and which has the smallest. It turns out case A has a net magnetic field at P given by zero. If we use the right hand rule, then the magnetic field around the left hand wire, if our thumb points along the wire, is always given by the direction our fingers point. And as we curl our fingers around, we notice that they point, our fingers point into the page at location P. So there's a magnetic field into the page from the left hand wire. The right hand wire, on the other hand, if we point our thumb along the direction of the current, our fingers point out of the page, and so its magnetic field is coming out exactly opposite to the direction of the magnetic field from the left-hand wire. These two magnetic fields exactly cancel one another because they're, the location P is equidistant between the two wires. Case B has a magnetic field that's twice as large as the magnetic field from any one of these wires. That's because when our thumb points along the direction of the two currents, we find that our th fingers are curled around and point into the page for both the left wire and the right wire. And that's because the current in the right-hand wire is now pointing straight down. KC has a magnetic field that points into the page at location P. However, the right-hand wire is contributing more strongly than the left-hand wire. That's because the left-hand wire is a distance 2D away from that point P, and the magnetic field falls off like 1 over the distance. In fact, the magnetic field for in case C has about 3 halves the magnetic field strength from the one wire, whereas in case B, it's about twice as strong. In case D, there's a net magnetic field that now points out of the page. That's because the left, the right hand wire has a current that's now pointing down and our fingers, when applying the right hand rule, comes out of the page at point P. The left hand wire has a magnetic field that points into the page, so it wants to cancel the magnetic field from the right hand wire, but it is weaker because it's further away. 